Hi, I'm Sabrina and my pants currently do not match my top. Hello my beautiful bookish friends, I'm so excited to be making this video, but before we get into the video, make sure you click the subscription button below so you'll never miss a video from me, and also give this video a huge thumbs up so I know to make more content like this. Without further ado, let's get into the video! So I have like a whole truckload, maybe not a truckload, but like a lot of books to show you guys today. Um, these are books that I've just collected over the past few months, so obviously I did not go out and like buy all of these books because that would that would be a lot lot of money to spend which is fine if it's for books right <laughs> anyways I'm not gonna go into like a lot of depth with every single book because there are so many of them but I will give you a, just like a short review of each and kinda rate how excited I am to read them so let's get into it the first book that I'm going to show you is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by um, Ransom Riggs and this book follows the protagonist Jacob and he's 16 years old and he travels to this far off island and it's like a mysterious land and basically he comes across Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children where there are peculiar children as it says in the title and as I've said many times so this is the next book that I'm planning to read, um, but if you guys have read it, make sure you let me know in the comments below because that would be helpful. The next book I picked up is A Little Princess by Frances Hodg Hodgson Burnett, I think that's how I say it. But it's about a girl who grows up in India and she moves to London to this boarding school and I just love this the movie so much so I thought why not pick up the book because the books are usually better than the movies anyways. So. Yeah, this is A Little Princess and I'm really excited to be reading this. But I also saw this movie before reading the book, which is like, I know like, you're not supposed to do that. But this is Julie and Julia by Julie Powell and basically this is just about the life of Julie Powell and how she had a blog and she wrote about all of the experiences she had cooking out of Julia Child's Mastering the Art of French Cooking Cookbook. So this is a wonderful movie. We just put it together so beautifully and I'm sure that the book is just as beautiful. So I'm extremely excited to read about this. The next book I picked up is The Giver by Lois Lowry. I absolutely love the plot of this story. Um, basically it's a about Jonas and he lives in a dystopian world where there's a corrupt government. No one in this world can see color. They don't know what color looks like. Everything is basically like black and white to them and they just, it's, it's, it's sad. But Jonas soon begins to discover that he can see color because he's one of those kind of people who can. So he's taken under the wing of the giver who knows basically everything about this world's past history and um, basically everything that humans should know about themselves. The next books I got are actually in a series, and it is the Anne of Green Gables series. I got the first one, the second one, and the third one, and I love Anne of Green Gables. I think Ella Montgomery's voice and her style of writing is just so beautiful and so amazing. So I just decided to just pick these up because I can. The next two books are also in the series. I did not get all 13 of them. I only got one and three, and it is a series of unfortunate events, and I remember reading these in second grade, and it was like amazing like I love Lemony Snicket so much like he is he's part of my childhood he is forever in my heart which is weird but <laughs> the next book I got is the first book in its series and it is Inkheart by Cornelia it's by Cornelia Funk that is a funky name <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes basically the books that Maggie, the protagonist, the main character, reads come to life and Maggie's father reads about this evil person named Capricorn? Yeah, named Capricorn. And he escapes from the book and causes a bunch of distress and, and evil in this world. And so they try to just get everything back to normal. I'm sorry if that wasn't a very descriptive uh, synopsis, I just... <laughs> I, mm. So I read the first book, A Wrinkle in Time, and I picked up the second one, Wind in the... Bleh, I can't talk today. I can't. A Wind in the Door by Madeline Langle, and I totally love the first one, and I can't wait for the movie to come out. So I just picked up the second one, and I can't wait to see what this is about. But if you saw it in my last book haul video, which if you want to go see that video, I'll leave a card up here. You can click on it. Go click on it. Click. Click. Really, go click. Right now. Go. Anyways, if you saw my last video, I picked up the first and second books of The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and I picked up the third one because I saw it and I was like, I have to have it in the series, so 
So basically this one is about them like getting ready to move out to college and obviously that brings on new experiences for the sisterhood. So I'm excited to see what happens in Girls in Pants, the third summer of the sisterhood. Okay guys, I was going to leave this for last, but I just, I can't contain my excitement, so I'm just going to show it to you now. I got the whole entire Lord of the Rings series for $2. Basically, in my blog, I talk more about this on how I got it for $2. If you want to go read that post that I put on my blog, you can click the description below, and I will also have a link to my actual blog itself in the description below. And can we just appreciate these covers? Like, like, whoa. Look at him. Look at Aragorn, guys. I'm so extremely excited to read these. I saw the movies already, and I, just, I love Lord of the Rings, so this just kind of hit me in the feels. So the next book is Sophie Kinsella's Confessions of a Shopaholic. Shopaholic takes Manhattan, and also in my first video about a book haul, you saw that I got the first book. So this is the second book, and uh, yeah admire it. This is a lot of books. I'm sorry if I'm boring you. Next I got Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird and I actually have not read this book surprisingly um, but I'm excited to read it because it is a classic and it is a very hyped book in the classic realm so I'm super duper excited. How many times did I use the word excited in this video? If you counted, put it in the comment section below. I'm just excited to um, kind of join the people who have read this book and be able to actually comment on it because I haven't read it so I can't comment on it. But now that I'm going to read it, I can comment on it. Mm, I'm rambling. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, the next book I got is Under the Tuscan Sun and I actually surprisingly have not seen the movie so I'm excited to read the book first. Um, and basically this is about Frances Mays and she travels to Italy. So just with the word Italy in it, I'm already hooked. I... It's, in, it's Europe, so enough said. But basically she travels to Italy and she renovates an abandoned villa on the t Tuscan countryside, which it says in the synopsis. And so I'm just excited to see what experience she has. I'm just excited to see what experiences she has and all the commotion that goes on and under the Tuscan sun, my people. So I picked up Ball of Fire, The Tumultuous Life and Comic Art of Lucille Ball by Stefan Canfer. But yeah, it's basically like a overview of Lucy's life, I guess. I'm not really sure the details of it. I just know it's about Lucy Ball, so I picked it up and I plan on reading it be because it's a book and that's what you do with books. Okay, I have a few more to go. We're almost finished. Let's get there. Okay, the next book I got was at my library and it is called Water for Elephants. Um, and a lot of people actually have probably heard of this book, but I actually wasn't very familiar with it until I came across it. It's basically about this old man, I think that's the correct term, aged man, more experienced man, whatever, it's a man. And he is just basically kind of having flashbacks about his past, about the circus that he was in, and all the love that went on there, and all the nice things that I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> but um, I really don't know the summary that well of this book I just decided to pick it up because I really love the cover to be honest so if you guys have read this book make sure you put it down in the comment section below so I actually know what it's about <laughs> thanks the next book I got was The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey and yes before you criticize me I know this book is pretty damaged because I got it at the thrift store but I plan on buying a newer version of the book I just wanted to pick it up so I could read it because I was really excited when I saw it so mm, yeah I know it's all damaged but give it some love okay give it some love it needs love okay it was abandoned so I picked it up and brought it home and it has a new home people the next three books that I got are The Maze Runner, The Death Cure, and The Squirts Trials. And, this, and these are the first three books in the Maze Runner series. There are two other ones that come after this, but I decided to just pick up these three. The first book is about um, this boy named Thomas, and he wakes up in the middle of a lift, and he doesn't remember anything. All his memories are erased, he doesn't know where he is or how he got to the place he's at. Everyone else there is like that too and they have to try to get out of the maze. Hence the reason why it's called the Maze Runner because there's a lot of people running. And the last book I got finally is I Kiss Dating Goodbye and um, the title is a very controversial title. It's about um, a new attitude towards, towards romance and relationships in a Christian 
kind of world view and I know this book a lot of people were like oh it ruined my life and stuff but I'm actually really excited to read it because um, if you're familiar with Girl Defined they were talking about it and I'm just I decided to pick it up that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed that video I had so much fun making that video I know there were a lot of books and a lot of books to get through but we cut through it, so that's awesome. All the books that I've shown in this video, I'll leave in the description box below so that you can pick up a copy if you want, one of the books, because that, that's nice. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss a video from me. And also, <laughs> if you did like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up so I know to make more content like this. I don't know why I just screamed, but I did. Comment down below your favorite book or if you've read one of these books and tell me how you liked it. Click the links on the screen and check the description box below for more additional content. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as I said before. I just love you guys so much. So I pray you have a beautifully blessed day. And cut.